Hi everybody and welcome to video number four. In the last video, we have scraped data from multiple pages. Actually, it was uh, 20 pages and we stored the data inside this Excel file. And now the next step looks like this. We want to output the same data in our um, SQL database. That means we want to create our own lawyer database, okay, with the Postgres SQL. Okay, so as you can remember, in the very beginning, we have imported the SQL Alchemy library and we want right now use it. So let's scroll down all the way. And here, first of all, we have to create our engine. So create SQL Alchemy engine. This is actually the first step. That means let's provide an engine variable here. Engine equals to SQL Alchemy dot create engine okay and now we need to provide um, information here so first of all we start with postgres colon slash slash postgres again and now uh, you have to provide a password and during the installation process um, you have chosen your own password and this is what you have to provide here Okay, for me, for simplicity reasons for this project, I've chosen one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and my local host is the port uh, five, four, three, two. Okay, next one is we have to mention what data frame we want to output. It's this one, DF lawyers multiple, which is um, actually this variable here. Here we have set it up, all right, with this data frame here. Okay, so now let's output this to the SQL database. So actually, um, as you can remember, when we have output the data in the Excel file, we have used the to Excel function. And now let's use the to SQL function. All right, so here let's provide the name of the table. Let's say it's lawyers. This is our table name. Then we have to provide the engine. Okay, it's this one. And afterwards, I also want to uh, skip the index. So index equals to false. All right. So index false, exactly the same what we have seen here when we output the data inside the Excel file. So let me just run this cell here. Let's see what we get. And now I have uh, one error message. Let's see what I have messed up here. So could not translate localhost. Ah, okay, sorry, this was my mistake. It's I have a typo here. It's localhost, I forgot an L. Okay, run the cell again. Okay, now I don't see an error message anymore. Let me just open up the interface, which is this one. Then let me let me just go to tables. And this is actually, um, here I have the tables of the previous projects. Now right click, refresh. And now I have table number four with the lawyer's information here, okay? Then let's go to columns. And here we see that now we have access to this data here. So first of all, let's go ahead and print out um, the whole data. So let's say from, oh, sorry, we start with select. Okay, so select star, that means select everything from lawyers. Okay, so from lawyers, and let's run the cell. And voila, now we see all the data which we have scraped and extracted from 20 pages inside this database here. Okay, this is what we wanted to achieve. This is our lawyer database. Okay. And now, for example, actually you have to um, yeah, prepare the data, clean it a little bit. But now what we can do is, um, let's say I want to run a SQL command and search for lawyers with the um, speciality of, let's say of business. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. So select star, that means select all columns from lawyers. Okay where um, specialization specialization equals to business okay so let's see let's run the cell here 
okay and now voila we have all the lawyers with the speciality of business okay again this is right now um not cleaned up okay you see here um now we can find actually what we are searching for but a lot of columns have um double entries or three different uh, specialization entries so let me just show you so here for example we have business.criminal.divorce and education okay so if you want to you can separate this data but this um, is actually not part of this tutorial i wanted to show you how to get to the point that you have your own lawyer database okay and if you want to, you can clean up your data and um, yeah so then you have um, more reliable sql queries you can run on this table here okay so this was actually everything i wanted to show you in this tutorial um i hope you liked it uh, leave me a feedback and if you have any kind of questions please refer to me and i wish you all the best and i hope to see you in one of the upcoming tutorials okay stay safe and bye bye